Welcome to the Big Easy Bookkeeping online tutorial. I will show you how you can use Big Easy Books to keep the records of a small business. I'm going to start by entering in the name on the Settings tab. Then click on Deposits and you can set up a category. Here I've set sales and sales tax. Then I'll click into the row 8 for the date. I'll put January 4. And I will right click in that cell to hide that comment box now that I've read it. I'll record who I received the money from here, XYZ Company, and I will put a reference, their invoice number, the amount of the sale, and the sales tax. And as you can see, there are 12 income categories that you can customize for your small business. And I'll show you where the help button is. It's up here on the left. You click on show help and little instruction boxes open and you click on hide help and they go away. Next we'll go to the checks. We'll start the checkbook here with a beginning bank balance. I will record a check on row 8, putting in the date, who I paid to, and the check number. I will use my right arrow button to find the category for utilities and phone and I'll put the amount there. Hit enter. Next I will show you the cash and charges. This is where you can record any items that did not go through your checking account. So it would be out-of-pocket expenses or anything you put on a credit card would go on this spreadsheet. got office supplies. Okay, next let's go over to the profit and loss and this is where you can set up budget amounts. It's a monthly budget amount you would enter. The profit was 345. Now here is the chart of income that shows actual versus budgeted amounts. Next I'll show you the bank reconciliation. The only th item you put here is the ending balance from the bank statement and then you go back to deposits and checks and you put a little X next to the items that cleared. That's all you do for that. Now let's go over to the summary page. On the summary page, here's the summary. Now let's go into deposits. You'll see that the two amounts I, I recorded are there. And then let's head over to the summary of profit and loss and you'll see they're recorded here on this spreadsheet. This spreadsheet has all four quarters and 12 months all on one wide spreadsheet. Let's 
got a budget amount here for all 12 months as a total. And that is it. Thank you for watching.